Hello guys, welcome back to another Pricey P Roblox Studio tutorial. We have a very exciting tutorial for you for today. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to animate in Roblox. The reason it's so exciting is because you can add all kinds of good stuff to your game and it's going to make your game much more exciting and much more enjoyable for people playing your games. So if you don't really know how to animate in Roblox, you definitely want to stick around and learn how to animate. And if you already know how to animate, just stick around anyway. We would love to have one more view to our video. And also, I think you will find the video enjoyable. Without further ado, let's get right to it. So open up a game or just open up a classic base plate, like the one I have here. And the first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to add a dummy to our game. So we're going to go to Avatar. Just make sure that these two boxes, the rotate and the move box, is unchecked. And then we're going to click on Rig Builder. We're going to pick an R15, R Throw Normal. And there's our dummy. I'm going to move it down to the base plate. Next thing we're going to need, we're going to need to open up the Animation Editor. You see we have two different windows opening up over here. So here on the left side is your Hierarchy, similar to your Explorer. And on the right side is your Timeline. You see there's a message in the right window. It says select a rig to animate. So just follow that and select, click on your dummy, that's your rig. It's going to ask you to enter a name for your animation. Let's just call it Wave Animation. Click on Create. Next thing I want to do is I want to add all the different body parts of my dummy to this hierarchy over here. So I'm going to click on the plus sign and I'm going to say, I'm going to select Add All Body. Click on that. You see all the different body parts has been added to my animation editor here. Now I'm going to go to this blue line here and on the first row, I'm going to right click and I'm going to select add keyframe here. Immediately you see a bunch of diamonds has been added to this keyframe. So now I have one keyframe. I'm going to create another keyframe. I'm going to go towards the end here. I'm going to click anywhere over here is fine. And then I'm going to select a part on the dummy. I'm going to go to my hierarchy here. I'm going to look for the left upper arm. I'm going to click on that. And then I want to rotate it up. So I'm just going to drag the, the red circle and rotate it up. You don't want to over rotate because you don't want the arm to, to bend backwards, right? So it, it's up, but it's leaning forward a little bit. And as I did that, you can see in this window, it has added two different diamonds into here. The top diamond is for you to select everything in the keyframe. For example, if I go to the, uh, the first keyframe here, right? If I click on the top diamond, it's going to select everything. Same goes here. This one has only one diamond because that is the only change that I made between the original pose and, and the new pose. So that's the only thing that changed. Everything else stayed the same, and that's why there's only one diamond here. Basically what this timeline means is that I have one second total for my animation, and the total of frames in this one second time is 30 frames. I have up to 30 frames in here. I can select the frames just by clicking on the top here. For example, right now I'm at frame 16, but I can also go to this little window here and enter the number, the frame number. For example, right now I'm at 16. If I want to go to 10, I'm just going to change this to 10, hit enter. And you, you see the blue line, it's moved to frame number 10. So you can either click up here or you can enter the number, the, the frame number in this tiny window. And again, you can have up to 30 frames in here. So if I enter 30, which is the last and final frame, it's going to take me to the end over here. And if I enter 0, it's going to take me to the first frame here. And again, each one of these that, that we enter here with the diamonds is called a keyframe. So your animation, it's going to go from this keyframe number 1, the first keyframe, to this keyframe here, which is keyframe number 2. And basically, it's just going to tween your dummy from this position, which is keyframe number 1, to keyframe number two. You can check your animation by pressing play here. You see, so that's how your animation is gonna look when you put it into a game. 
You can also play by pressing the spacebar. And you can pause by pressing the spacebar as well. So I'm going to press spacebar and spacebar again to pause and play again, spacebar. And that's your animation. So if that's what you want, you can export this and put it into your game, which we're going to show you later. Another thing I want to point out here is you see there's three dots here. You can save it. So if I click save, it's going to save it to the dummy. So this dummy here is going to have a save file in it. If I go to my explorer on this side on the right, expand that, and you're going to see there is a file called anim save in it. That is the save file of this animation. So if you save it to the dummy and then you go and publish it to Roblox, the next time you come back into this game, if you go and animate the dummy, it's going to save all this stuff for you. You don't have to redo it. On the other hand, if you can finish your whole animation in one day, in one setting, you don't need to save it. Just do what you need to do and export to Roblox, and then you're all done. You can close everything. You don't need to save anything. Because once it's exported to Roblox, it's going to be in Roblox. All right, so now let's make some more changes to this animation. Um, you can move a keyframe. So again, here we have keyframe number one and keyframe number two. I can move my keyframe by clicking on the top diamond and drag to any place I want. For example, I'm dragging it to frame number three. How can I tell it's frame number three? There's a number here and there's a number inside this box here. And now if I press spacebar, you can see that the animation runs very quickly. It, it goes very fast. Why is that? Because you're going from the same position at the bottom with the arm at the bottom to the arm at the top, but in less time, in, in only three frames. Before we had like 30 frames to, to bring the arm from the bottom to the top. So it went slower. I'm gonna make a change and I'm gonna move this uh, keyframe to uh, probably frame number six maybe. Let me check this frame here. Seven, let me, let me move it to frame number six or five. I'm gonna test it again. All right, that, that looks pretty good. So we're, we're making a waving animation. So first the dummy is gonna bring the arm up and then he's gonna be waving his hand back and forth, right? So the next thing I wanna do is I wanna put another keyframe here. I'm gonna click here and now I'm gonna move my arm, the dummy's arm Again, it's going to be the left upper arm, and we're going to rotate it uh, in another direction. I'm going to rotate it with the blue line. I'm going to move it the other way, so it's moving out. And if you want, you can change the lower arm as well. And the left hand as well. I mean, it's really up to you. So now we have three different keyframes. We have the first keyframe. We have the second keyframe and we have the third keyframe. The next thing we want to do is we just want this, this arm, this hand to wave back and forth. So we want to copy this one, right? I'm going to right click on this keyframe here. I'm going to copy it, copy select it, and I'm going to paste it somewhere over here. Right click and paste keyframes. The arm goes in and out and back in, right? You can even copy uh, multiple keyframes. For example, I'm gonna click on this one. So click on the top diamond to select everything, right? And I'm gonna press down control. I'm gonna click on this top diamond. So now I'm selecting two keyframes and you can copy and paste by control C and control V as well. So I'm gonna do control C to copy. Then I'm gonna come over here Click on this, control V to paste. Now I have copied these two keyframes to here and here. Let's double check our animation again. I'm gonna click here and I'm gonna use the skip button here to skip through all the keyframes. So here we are at the first keyframe. The arm is down and then we're gonna skip to the next keyframe. Arm is up, next one, it goes out goes back in, goes back out, and goes back in. Maybe I'll do it one more time 
So I'm gonna select the same two here. I'm gonna copy this two again, copy selected, and we're gonna come over here and we're gonna paste them in again. Let's double check one more time. I'm gonna use the skip button. Here's the start, goes up, out, in, out, in, out, in. All right, perfect. And if you like to play, press spacebar to take a look. So that's how it's gonna go. All right, so that's a waving motion. Now, if you're happy with the animation, you can publish it to Roblox. So I'm gonna go again to this three dots here. I'm gonna click on that and select publish to Roblox. Since I already have a wave animation, I'm gonna overwrite to an existing asset. But if you're doing this for the first time, just click on submit here to create a new animation. I'm gonna click on overwrite here and I'm gonna select an existing animation that I wanna overwrite. I'm gonna select this one and then I'm gonna click submit. successfully submitted. Now you can close this window. In fact, you can close everything now because we are all done. It has been published to Roblox. Would you like to save or discard these changes? You can discard it. You don't need to save anything now. We already published it to Roblox. The next thing we're gonna do now is we're gonna put this animation inside our game. So you can select any game you like. I'm just gonna select the same game but you can select any game you like, it would work fine. So now we are inside the game. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have a character or a, a rig inside my game that I wanna animate. So I'm gonna put in a rig now. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna go avatar, click on rig builder. And this time we can select something else. We're gonna select the author slender. And again, I'm gonna move my character or the dummy down to the base plate. Now we want to go to the dummy, click on the plus sign, add a script, and then we're going to add the animation to this dummy. To start, I'm going to declare the dummy. So I'm going to say local dummy equals to script dot parent. You see the script is here. The dummy is the parent of the script. Next thing I want to do is I want to declare this humanoid object of the dummy. So I'm going to say local humanoid equals to dummy and I just want to make sure I wait for that dummy object to load so I'm going to do colon wait for child humanoid to add animation to your games you just got to follow this four very simple steps step number one you need to have an animation object so we're going to declare local Let's call it animation equals to instance dot new. And it's gonna be an animation object. Next, we're gonna to have to load the animation ID of this animation object. So we're gonna say animation dot animation ID equals to. Now we're gonna to go to the home menu tab the toolbox, click on your creations tab, and then on the drop down, select animations. This is the animation that we have just uploaded. I'm gonna right click on it, copy asset ID, code, Roblox, asset ID, colon, slash, slash, and do a control V to paste in the ID that we copied from our animation. All right, so again, step number one is to create an animation object, an animation instance. Step number two is to load the animation ID into that object. Step number three, we're gonna need to load the animation track. So I'm gonna come down here, I'm gonna say local. Let's call the animation track wave track equals to humanoid colon load animation track load animation that is parentheses and inside the parentheses you're gonna put this animation in it 
I'm gonna copy and paste it in here. So again, step one, create the new animation. Step two, you load the animation ID. Step three, you're loading the animation track. And finally, we're gonna play the animation track. We're gonna say wave track colon play. And that's all we have to do. Just one more thing I like to do here is I like to put in a weight so that we can get ready. So I'm just gonna put the weight here at the top. I'm gonna wait for 10 seconds before we do anything. And now let's play and take a look. See, it's a good thing I put in the weight because we gotta look for our dummy, right? And get ready. There it goes, it waved. That was quick. Here it is again one more time. Take a look. Give it 10 seconds. And there it goes. It waved. All right, everyone. That's how you add animations to your games to make your games more exciting, more fun to play, and people are going to like to play your games more. Thank you all for watching, guys, and we will see you again in our next tutorial. Take care, everyone.